Oh, I'll come back. The elven structure. I love the fact that we got that killed. I see you, but you are no elf. This place is not for you. Its trial is not for you to attempt. I see you. An elf by appearance is not always an elf by heart. Prove yourself. Overcome the trial. A true elf knows that nature is a finer weapon than even the sharpest blade. Pay homage to their skills, solve their riddle, and winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. I am the voice of the fire. My flame bears the will of all the elves and life. The totem is still. We gotta create eyes. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Doors closed. Let's get sauce. Get everyone imbued. Okay. Uh, 
Um. Lucky find. Oh, that goes there. As the smoke swirls about your skull, your vision starts to push in as the world fades away. Okay. As you approach, Amadia greets you with outstretched arms. Though her face is marred by a... My child, my sweet Fane, you positively brim with sauce. It is good to see you more like your old self. Oh, my sweet, it is naught but a chill. Your soul has a draft, it seems. Perhaps you should... A sudden shudder jolts through her body so violently that she drops to her knees, stunned into silence. Source washes over her, a wave over a single flame. But unlike last time, it seems to have precious and eternal curse escapes from her lips, spoken so forcefully that for a brief moment all light recedes into the webs of darkness. So did I, my child, but the void slithers into everything. I told you before it is stronger than ever, but so are you. I can sense the expanse of Source inside you. There is only one more thing you must remember now. The spell you will need when we reach the Well of Ascension. Okay. You see. You see with our eyes. You can behold the source once more. But now you must... Amalia smiles, and you notice for the first time two vampiric fangs glistening beneath her upper lip. A gulf of magic envelops you, and you feel an insatiable... Go on. I am here for you. Give in to your hunger. Yes, relish in your lust for power. Just go on, my sweet. Devour me. Though your spell tore through her like a spear through flesh, Amadia looks grimly happy, if haggard. You speak the spell with a ferocity I have not heard in centuries, as I knew you would, dear Fane. Do you still not see? You are more than what you once... Let me tell you the one truth about our existence. We are the life. It is about power, mm. and power is not given. It is taken, with all-seeing eyes and all-consuming teeth. You can see the souls of these dead mortals, and now you can feed from them to your hungry hearts. So feed, my sweet, for you will starve until you finally... So you are. Your soul has become a vast enough... Ex we must hurry now. We must race towards the... Your quarry lies on a far-off shore, at the heart of the Nameless Isle. It is a place no... She places a hand on your skull, and you suddenly feel it. An unmistakable pull in a new and distant direction. The battle for divinity is about to begin in mm -hmm. earnest. The other gods and their chosen will try to outflank us. But I will be with you, dear child. The king will be overcome. And the end is nigh. Okay. Uh... I want to do one point. It's in polymorph, right? Another point in Lord Master.
Okay. Savory. You jolt back to the world, stumbling forward. Dark smoke surrounds you, hanging in the air like black fog. This feels wrong. The Meister's cry cuts through the haze. You look up just in time to see what steps out of the shadows. Your god told you there can be only one. He said you'll eventually need to turn on each other. I've use for neither gods nor men. I myself am the island that is my destiny. A good wolf doesn't take out the competition until there's no other option. A girl's best friend is her needle. But, I'll stick by you as long as you... Alright, no, she's covered in numbers and lotus room. 15 right, 15 right, 34 left, 23. It seems to be the coat was safe. Better hang on to this. knew I'd die for Rivalon. I just didn't expect it was going to be in a small basement. In Driftwood, of all places. At least now you know where to go. Excellent. Although, do be wary of her. My death may change things for her. She is immensely powerful, and she is on our side. But she will not be... She may ask you to honor an old bargain that I had struck with her. Do not accept. Her business is with me 
and me alone. She glances at her body once more. A grip. You need to go, Godwoken. But I have one last request. My last. I want a statue. Something modest. My deceiver's shoulders slump. Uh, I would have liked to see that city again. <laughs> Okay, um... Huh. Supposed to be off learning how to become the divine and whatnot. Her eyes flash with something anger, perhaps, or fear. I. But never mind. We'd better focus on the task at hand. She looks straight ahead, ignoring you. Well, aren't you industrious? Of course, not everyone on the ship's manifest has returned, as you can see. Tarquin slunk off to Stone Garden, as I recall. The graveyard. Quite curious what ghastly business he's getting himself ready. Uh, that's right. We're gonna do that. Um... Okay, well, while it's making its way over here, I'm going to end the episode here, and we're going to walk all the way across over here, and I'll save and end the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, let me know the comments below, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Till then, bye-bye.